opens up footy lovers, coaches and players alike. It is Kyle Lloyd Knotek coming at you from Lynn Shopping Sweden, trying to make you a little bit more footy smart. The focus of today's video is going to be on one of the most important skills for a passer, and that is being able to play short through balls on the ground with your head up, seeing the ball with the bottom of your vision. The clip we're going to focus on, and one of the masters of this, is the legendary genius of passing, Xavi. So stay tuned and enjoy. A quick warning before we start, be careful doing this around corner flags because Kevin can recover from this. Most of us can't. <laughs> We're going to start off by looking at one of the reasons Xavi is still giving nightmares to defenders he played against with his ability to hit final balls and through balls with his head up. As you can see here, Xavi is obviously not looking down at the ball. He's looking up, which allows him to make adjustments and stop the pass if he needs to at the last second. And let's look at these oops faces when you let one of the best passers in the world have too much time. Here's a different angle on a different pass, but you can see the same thing. His head is up and he's scanning what's going on while making this pass. And every bit of vision matters when you're making passes this close to goal. And here you'll see one of the better strategies to defend against the Xavi pass. Just raise your hand and hope the referee bails you out with an offsides. Okay, so we'll start with just simply executing the skill and I'll also give you some tips while we go through. It's a pretty simple drill here. You have a cone where to start and then you have a path to dribble through with your head up and once you get through that path, then you need to hit the target. As you can see better here, our target is a bunch of poles straight in front of us right now. And yeah, I know this isn't the most realistic drill, unless your teammate's picking his nose and just standing over there. And if you're that teammate, sort it out, dude. Pull your shirt off, blow your nose before the game. Come on, man. But yeah, it's gonna get more realistic. Bear with me. So here's the drill from the back. And here's a view from the front. So as you can see here, my head is up as I'm dribbling and also while I am striking this pass. This time through, I'm, we're gonna stop the video a couple times and focus on a few things. First, I obviously have twinkle toes as you can see here. Second, the ball is farther away from me in relation to my body so I can look up straight ahead and still see the ball with the bottom of my vision. Next, we'll take a moment first to look at this sweet pose I'm in when I stop the video. Second, we'll look at my technique to hitting a clean pass on the ground without a bounce. So you'll see here, my plant foot is turning in so it's facing the ball and I'm gonna be coming down across my body to keep the ball crisp and on the ground. Here we'll look at this technique a few times in slow motion. Oh yeah, and surf's up dudes. Now that we've mastered hitting passes straight in front of us, let's work on different angles just in case every single pass in our whole life isn't directly in front of us. So you'll see the setup is similar with a starting cone, a couple cones that create the path we're gonna go through, but the difference is the angle towards our target. And for my viewers that weren't born talented mathletes, don't worry about the angle talk. You just have to know it's a different direction. Most of the principles are the same. You're still going to dribble with your head up and you're still going to put the ball in front of you so you can see the ball with the bottom of your vision. So there are many ways to hit the ball in this direction, but I think the big thing we're going to focus on is turning our plant foot because that will give us consistent success in that direction. And let's be honest, if you turn your plant foot, you're going to have a sick pose like this. Here you can see the technique a couple more times. For sure, I had to start the clip here. Look at that pose. Man, I make it so easy for photographers. Same drill, different angle. Starting cone, you have your two cones that give you your path, and you'll see the angle towards your target here. As usual, we'll start here so you can see everything from the back, and then we'll go around to the front as well. Which is also not a bad technique if you're checking out that girl down the street. This time through, we're going to stop it and break it down to look at the pass a bit. 
As you see here, I'm turning my plant foot towards the ball now, but we're not using the inside of our foot anymore. As you see in the replays, we're using our laces to make sure we get the ball in that direction. And we throw a nice little after hop for style. Same drill, we'll just use the first cone as a trapping cone and we'll need a partner or a wall. I'll add in a different angle so you can see the wall I'm using. What? Two cameras? If that doesn't get you to like, I don't know what will. You can easily add in different angles and different first touches to get you towards those angles. This is going to get a little complicated, but it's something you can do by yourself to work on vision. You just need a couple tools. So you'll see we have these two cones in the middle to create our path to dribble through with our head up. But now we have three targets to choose from. One to the left, one to the center, and one to the right. To use our vision to choose the right pass, we're going to use this laptop you'll see here. I put a random number video on this laptop. Whenever it hits one through three, we're gonna hit the left target. If it goes four through six when we're going up, we're gonna hit the straight target. If by the time we get through, it's seven through nine, we're gonna hit the right target. And if you have a fear of numbers because of your second grade math teacher, use a color video or find a friend, probably easier. Also, we're receiving the ball, so we're gonna check our shoulder as usual. I'm gonna play the numbers video in the corner so you can see what I was seeing when I was dribbling up. On second thought, please do not put your laptop on the ground like I do here. Put it on something sturdy like a table or something that can protect it from balls on the ground. You're going to break your laptop and your moms are not going to be happy with me. For those of you that have friends, unlike me, and those of you that don't need a reason for a new laptop, there's an easier way. Have the other person go stand up in the middle target and he can either ask for the ball to his feet or point a direction. And it's also really good practice if you ever want to direct traffic or help planes land. And the next level is your partner has a ball in the hands and he can roll the ball out and you try to hit the ball as if it was a teammate on the move. So we're going to add in something I'm going to call the pro challenge for each skill. And this is going to be something you can do quick with some friends and you don't need a whole lot of tools to set it up. This is actually a clip from my training a couple days ago. And at the end of the training I wanted to work on some vision passing from different angles. So I just had a ball out there and I was just trying to hit the ball. So if you can hit, put the ball maybe 15, 20 yards away, I think that's maybe like 10, 12 meters away, then we're going to work on you trying to hit the ball with the vision from different angles. Maybe try to get, I got three out of four here. See if you can do similar. Obviously, as I am doing here, you are keeping your head up while hitting this pass. And we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're gonna put in the work to learn this skill. And you also use some of the drills that I pointed out to master the technique. Also, give the pro challenge a try. Tell me you did better than me. Tell me you did worse. Maybe you send a video response. Also, liking and subscribing helps motivate me and helps me get my videos to you faster and easier. So please do it. Also, hey, go ahead, tell a friend. I got no problem with that. Stay classy, footy lovers. I also want to give a special thanks to the YouTube creator, Messi the Boss, for the Xavi clips I had in this video. There will be a link to his YouTube channel and the video I got these clips from in the description below. Once again, if you're on your phone, you can click the like button here, the subscribe button down here, the notifications button right here, and then you can click here for more videos. If you're on your computer, you can go down and click this thumbs up to like it. You can go hover over this icon, don't press it, hover, and then you press this button to subscribe. You can go press this icon, and you'll be able to get the notifications bell up there in the corner. And you can also see more videos here.